guys, welcome back to my channel and this week's Wild Card Wednesday. And in today's video, we're gonna do another chit chat video. So I thought I was just going to sit down and chit chat with you a little bit while I am doing my makeup. So uh, I'm just gonna do like a basic look today, no eyelashes or anything. If you're curious, I am going to use the MAC Warm Neutral yeah, that's the name, Warm Neutral for my eyes. I'm going to use NARS Sin on my cheeks for the blush. And I'm going to do sculpture, like face sculpture with the shade and light from Kat Von D palette. And for highlight, I'm going to use Makeup Geek in collaboration with Kathleen Light and I'm going for the brightest color here. So let's dig into it. Um, today's topic on my chit chat video is going to be AliExpress. So my goal is to more or less go through everything you need to know when shopping on AliExpress and also my experience with AliExpress and everything because these are regular questions that I answer all the time on my channel and I find it easier for me to just sit down and do a video and uh, then I can point to that video whenever you have questions about them. So AliExpress is more or less like it's not one shop where everyone is the same seller it's like a platform where suppliers from mostly China but it's also some from Hong Kong <laughs> some from Philippines, it's a little bit different, but I think it's mainly like China products there, where they can upload and sell for like grocery prices, but it's also, it's like a difference. It, like everyone can upload uh, if they have like a shop or something. And my experience were the first time, this is a question that I got a lot, like how I found uh, AliExpress and I think I've been telling this before but I'm going to tell it one more time. So the first time I uh, found AliExpress were I was doing a bikini and by that time, this is many years ago, I was doing competitions bikinis. So I was going to do a bikini and I wanted to have like connectors, you know, this very bright bling bling connectors. And I had a really hard time to find connectors like that. And when I found them, they were so expensive. So I started to Google and all of a sudden it came up on AliExpress. And I was a little bit like, what is this? Because I, it was like a grocery price. On all the other sites, I found like one connector for like, say, I think it was like $15. And here it was like 10 connectors for, I don't remember, but say like 10 or $15. So I was a little, hmm, okay, let's try it out and see what it's going to be. And I didn't have any expectations. I didn't, I was not even sure that I was going to get the products, but I got the products and they were amazing. So um, that was the first time ordering. After that, I started to also order, you know, this small like Swarovski crystals that you put on the bikinis. I started to order those in bulk from AliExpress. And that is more or less where my eyes opened for AliExpress. And ever since then, and I mean, that is like 10 years ago, maybe. Uh, ever since then, I have been trying out so much from AliExpress. And I mean, I know I'm most known here for uh, doing reviews on um, active wear from AliExpress, but I have been trying out so much. I've been trying out makeup, makeup brushes, other clothes. I've been trying out uh, equipment for workout. Um, what else do we have? What else have I not tried? Like active wear. Like, I've been trying out so much things from AliExpress. And I have to say, jewelries, I've been trying out many jewelries and something that really like pisses me off is that a lot of the times, the items from AliExpress is more or less the same that you can find in other places. It's just that they more or less bought it from AliExpress, put their logotype or whatever brand name or something on there. And then they charge like five times the price. And when I was living in Marbella, I even tried because they uh, had like in the port, they had like these stores where they sold jewelries, very beautiful jewelries, but it was not like real silver and everything. It was more like bichotteries. I don't know the name in English, but bichotteries, bichotteries is the name in Swedish. But anyhow, 
Uh, I saw that they had many that was it looks the same as the ones that I have been seeing on AliExpress. So I bought a pair of earrings in, this is so many years, and this was long before I started my YouTube. So I didn't, uh, I don't have like everything, maybe if I dig I have them somewhere, but I don't have it at as for right now so I can show you. But I bought a pair of earrings for 50 euro, so that is like, what can it be, like $60 in the port for a pair of earrings that was so beautiful and then I ordered from Aliexpress and I paid like three dollars and it was the same that is how crazy it is so I was very fed up <laughs> because I mean I paid a lot of money for the same thing that I could get for basically no money and then I started to be curious because I started to try out other things and I mean we have this thing called Cool Stuff. It's a Swedish site where they basically sell like cool stuff. It can be like things for the kitchen, things like, I mean, more or less things that no one has ever thought of. And I have been trying some things from there and I can tell you that most of the things you can get on AliExpress for so much less money. So I've been trying out so many things from AliExpress before I started to try out Act active wear and I have to be honest when I first started to order active wear from Aliexpress I was not impressed at all because it was very cheap it was very poor quality and um, I stopped because this was many years ago that I tried and then I stopped because I was like nah you know this is not like hmm I rather pay a little bit more then I waited a few years and then I started to see like seamless items coming out and other like things that catched my eye. I tried to order and by that time I can say that Aliexpress really had been stepping up the game. So um, from there now it's more or less only activewear that I go for from uh, Aliexpress. But um, they also have a lot of other good things like makeup brushes. A lot of the makeup brushes that I'm using here today is from Aliexpress and it's actually very good quality and you don't pay so much money for them. So okay, back to what you need to know to order from Aliexpress. So when I first started to order, as I said, I was not even sure that I was going to get my order. And since then, I mean, I am a Diamond member and I have been that for many years now on Aliexpress. I mean, I have been ordering, I have many, many hundreds of orders from Aliexpress by the time now. And from all of those hundreds of orders, it's only one order that I haven't got, or maybe two or something. I think it's two. Two orders that I never got. And uh, the thing with AliExpress is that you have this security. So when you go in and you put something in your chart, then you go into your chart and you collect the items that you want to buy. So you can pay for multiple different items from multiple different sellers at the same time. And only the things that are from the same seller is going to be shipped in the same package. That was something that I didn't know from the beginning. I was collecting different things and then I got like multiple different packages. So everything you buy from one seller, you will get in one package. That is good to know if you are living in a country like me, where you have to pay taxes and fees from all the packages you get. So if you buy from two sellers, you have to pay fees and taxes for two packages. If you buy from one seller, you only have to pay fee and taxes for one package. So that is something to keep in mind. So you go in and you collect and then you can pay, they have so many different ways. You can pay with PayPal, you can pay with your Visa card or MasterCard or whatever card you're having. Uh, and you go in and you pay for the items that you want. And then they have, I don't know, I don't remember how many days, but they have like a good amount of days. Uh, to collect and uh, ship out your products and you can actually go into your orders and you can track everything so you, so you can see when your order is being shipped and everything. Then they ship it out and then they have an amount of days where you have to get your package and I, I think it's like 45 days because they have like a good amount of days. And the thing is that if the package has not arrived but by that time you can easily open dispute on Aliexpress and you will get your money back. And that is what I have been doing the two times, one or two times, I don't remember, in all these years, where I have not got the package. I just go in, I open the dispute and I actually get the money back. Another thing is that if there is any issues, because that I have been getting money back from sellers that has been issued, like, for example, if I get a pair of leggings and the leggings breaks after using it one or two times, the thing is that 
after you got your package, after you received your package, you have 15 days to open dispute. So if something is wrong with the package when you have received it and you find something that is wrong with the item within 15 days, you can easily open dispute and you will get your money back if there is like I know sometimes it's been like some problem and I just take pictures, I upload it and I and you put in how much you want back or if you want to have a replacement or something, something like a new item sent to you and you just go in and you put it in there and the thing is that by that time within those 15 days it's not the seller that agrees, it's more or less AliExpress that does like okay I collect information from the buyer and then from the seller and then they agree on if you are going to get all the money back or half the money back or whatever damage that is on your items and then in all of the cases like every single time I have got whatever I asked for back and most of the time it's been like money like full refund but I know if you have extended those 15 days and you find something damaged with your goods you can also go in and contact the seller right away. Most of the sellers on AliExpress have really good custom service because they really care for the customers because you can always leave reviews so if you are treated in a bad way you can always go into the items you bought and you can leave bad reviews and if you bought multiple different items you can go in on every single item and you can give a negative review on all the items. So most what I have found most of the sellers are very they want to please you and they want you to be happy with the items and leave positive reviews because there is so many stores out there so it's very important for them to have good reviews. In the cases when I have found that I want to have refund or replacement or something after this 15 days, I have contacted the seller and we have solved the problems without any problem. So that is like the main thing you need to know. I also get questions like if it's secure to buy from Aliexpress if it's secure to put in your visa card and everything and as far as I know the sellers themselves don't get the information about your visa it's like Aliexpress in is the middle hand and I have never had any problem with anything and I have been paying mostly with my visa card but also with um, PayPal I think sometimes and I never had any problem um, I never save my card whenever you put in like whenever you buy something I always get the notification like do you want to save this card on Aliexpress and I've never done that I always like take the time and put in my information on my card every time I buy it because I don't like saving like information about my card and things online but that is just me you do whatever you want but I have never had any problem with it like that I felt insecure or that I felt like it was not secure to buy from Aliexpress. So that is like the basic main info that you need to buy from Aliexpress. But something that I also just want to touch base on is that you can see the same things, the same clothes or whatever you are going for on Aliexpress from different sellers and they are using the same pictures uh, and they have different prices, but I can tell you in many cases it's going to be the same quality, the same items, the same everything. But I have been trying so many times to order the same things from different sellers that are using the same pictures. They just have different prices and the quality can be like so different. And many times I have before I order, I go in, if, if I see that the... Um, the seller is using the same pictures as everyone else. I email them before I order and I ask them to send pictures of the actual things that they are selling. So for example, if I see that a store is using pictures from, say they have energy seamless leggings and they use the pictures from Gymshark's website, which they are not allowed to do, but some of them do it anyhow. I go and I contact them because all stores you can go in, I think it's like down to the left and in the left corner you have like contact the seller and I go in and I ask them to send me pictures on the actual leggings that they are selling. And that has saved me a lot of money because a lot of the times I have got 
pictures back and I see like for example the do you even dupes I wanted to buy them for so long and I saw that they were using the do you even pictures uh, and I asked them to send their own like pictures on the leggings that I was actually going to receive and I saw that they were not even seamless so that you can also do if you are not 100% sure of what you are gonna get and also the same thing goes for whenever I do reviews here I can only say how the quality is on that specific store that I have the items from because I have got some emails from you or comments with some of you saying like oh I ordered this energy seamless leggings and they are totally see-through or they are not like how you review them and I asked you guys okay can you please send me the links and you send me the link and it's from a completely different store uh, and not the same as I was mentioning in the review so that is something that you should really keep in mind if I re if I review something and you go in and you find a better price and you order from that store you cannot to, like have my review in the back of the mind because it can be completely different because different stores has different quality. Just so you keep that in mind, like it can still be good things, of course. Uh, and uh, that is also why I try to review from different sellers the same items, because I want you to be able to save money. And if I can find something that I really like for a cheaper price, uh, I will try it and if it's the same I will let you guys know or if it's any difference or anything so that is why I sometimes try to find same items from different stores just to make it easier for you so yeah guys I think I'm more or less done and uh, maybe some in the corner highlights I'm going for my jewel ice oh it's broken damn it uh, yeah so that is, I think, everything you need to know. If I forgot to mention something and you want to fill me in, please do and put the comments in the comment sections and let us all know. Because I wanted to do this video to help all of you, to make it easier for you if you want to buy from AliExpress. And uh, if you have anything that you would like me to review from AliExpress that is not active wear, because I really try to review everything that is new on AliExpress when it comes to active wear, but I would love to do reviews where I review other things like maybe things for the kitchen, maybe tools for the gym or whatever you want me to review. Uh, so let me know if you have any suggestions of something that you would like me to review that is not active wear. But anyhow, I hope that this video has helped you in any way, that it has cleared out something around AliExpress and get you more knowledge about how AliExpress is working. So thank you for watching this chit chat video. If you have any topics that you want me to touch base on in my next chit chat video, you can put the request in the comment sections down below. And with that being said, I hope that you want to give this video a thumbs up. I hope that you want to be a part of my YouTube family and hit that little subscribe button and of course I hope I see you in my next video but for now we say bye